ourselves. Now, I love those ad campaigns that are like, all bodies are beautiful. Because the subtext is always like, even these. <laughs> it always just make a little bit too big of a deal about it. You're like, we don't know if you noticed, but these models, if we can even call them that, <laughs> are very, very, very different than the models we usually use. <laughs> And these busted models <laughs> remind us of you. <laughs> we think you're really beautiful in a really real way. <laughs> you're welcome. I like to believe their intentions are good, but I think we'd be a lot happier if we just let go of the idea that everybody has to be gorgeous. We go, you know what, whether you are two or 10, that's fine, but your body is disgusting. <laughs> Functionally, human body, unbelievably gross. Okay, if you don't believe me, get a white comforter. <laughs> you also got that one faster than they do in Michigan, which I think is a point <laughs> against you. Um, I've been, I've been watching a lot of porn lately because it's a safe way to play out my fantasy of buying a house. <laughs> All right, if you're going to watch real estate porn, though, you have to be ready to suspend your disbelief. <laughs> okay, they want you to believe that this woman has the budget for granite countertops, <laughs> but also that she just turned 18. <laughs> <laughs> All right, call me a prude but I don't think both of those things can be true. <laughs> Not in today's market. <laughs> no, I've noticed that a lot of the men in porn are bald. My first thought was like, well, it's gotta be a cleanliness thing, right? I think it's easier to wipe off <laughs> a bald head. The more I thought about it, I was like, that's silly. It's not a cleanliness thing, right? Because if it was, it wouldn't be the men in porn that were bald. <laughs> it would be the women. <laughs> you got there earlier than I did. <laughs> Good. No, I, uh, I don't know. People say it's not feminist to watch porn. Uh, it sets up unrealistic expectations for women. And I think there's some merit to that, right? Like, there have been times that I've been with a guy, and all of a sudden he asks for something wild. And I know he's only asking because he saw in the video. And I have to be like, all right, reel it back. I'm a real person. It's not fair that you're asking me to make eye contact. <laughs> that woman is a professional. <laughs> not doing that, I'm not a whore. <laughs> I don't like it when you're watching a video and it starts out normal movie style, and then halfway through switches to that bird's eye male point of view. Right, a little bit of a jump scare. <laughs> I don't think we're meant to know what our body looks like from every angle. <laughs> right? But it did get me thinking. I do think we could have more POV porn for women, okay? And you could do it with very low overhead. All you have to do is get a GoPro and point it at the ceiling for five minutes. Okay, <laughs> if you want to get crazy, Flip it around, mash it into a pillow for a little while. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh. All right, I'll leave you guys on this one now that we're comfortable with one another. <laughs> Have you ever been fingered in a way that's so confidently wrong? <laughs> You're like, maybe it is me. Maybe my shit's not in the right place. <laughs> and you don't know if you should correct him or keep making mental notes for your doctor. <laughs> At some point he goes, how is it? But you can't answer because you're too busy trying to schedule an appointment up here. <laughs>
he's using his finger like it's a straw and your body like it's a particularly difficult Capri Sun. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, and uh, I'm not trying to be like, oh, guys don't know, you know, but this particular guy did not know. Because <laughs> right, you would think where you put your penis would have some inspiration for uh, where you put your hand. <laughs> and he was treating it like we were playing a game of Battleship. He's <laughs> like, oh, she had it there before. She wouldn't possibly put it there again. <laughs> Bad strategy. <laughs> uh, and in the end, you know, obviously it doesn't work like it's supposed to, but uh, you gotta respect them, right? Because you've never been fingered that optimistically before. Right? Never before has someone gotten in there and gone, you know what? The hole is where you make it. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> Mary Spencer from Detroit, everyone. Show some love.